You know, I know when to be still and let the Holy Spirit work. I want to thank the brothers, the three D's. You know, I want to thank them for uh, getting us off on a good start this morning. You know, I don't, I don't, I count it a privilege and an honor to stand in front of you this morning. Like, uh, first, let me, let me take care of protocol. I want to thank my pastor, Reverend Page, for allowing me this opportunity. I know uh, Pastor Banks trained us and started this two years ago. And now I've been up for a few times, you know, in the old Pleasant Green in here. But this is a special time. You know, uh, I love Pleasant Green. Love each and every one of you. And I thank you for your, 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 your support this morning. But there's a word from the Lord. But before we do it, let us pray. Most gracious and eternal Father, Lord, first of all, we just want to say thank you. Lord, we thank you for just blessing us on this day. Lord, we thank you for just waking us up this morning and starting on Sunday. way. Lord, we ask you to bless what is said today, Lord. As I decrease, Lord, I ask you to just increase in me, Lord. Lord, pour out your spirit onto me, Lord, as, as I share with your people your word, Lord. Lord, I don't take you for granted. Lord, because you can use anyone. Well, I thank you for just using this, me as your vessel on today, Lord. Lord, I just pour out your spirit on us on this on this day. Lord, we love you. We praise you. Lord, if there's any praise, honor, or glory, so clear for you to give it all to you. In the present name of Jesus, I pray this prayer. Amen. Amen. I know Pastor Page said I was a songbird, so. <laughs> so I have this has been on my heart for some years. I was going to use it in a message before. Uh, and, uh, and I just kept getting confirmation, confirmation, confirmation that you need to do this. You need to sing this, this song. And uh, order my steps in your word, dear Lord. Lead me, guide me every day. Say your anointing, Father, I pray. to walk worthy my calling to fulfill if you order my steps Lord I'll do your blessed will the world is ever changing but you If you order my steps, I'll praise your name. Order my steps in your word, dear Lord. Lead me, guide me every day. Send your anointing, Father. Thank y'all for indulging me in today. Because uh, that's that's where I live. I try to live. You know, sometimes I slip. And we can attest, all of us have slipped one time or another. But uh, you know, I, I pray each and every day on how I deal with people, how I serve the Lord, how I interact with folks, how I, how I interact with the young people, you know, and I, you know, first thing, when someone asks, you know, they ask me an opinion about something, I said, look, I can give you the word sense, because I don't want to give you my opinion, because it can be way off base, but um, I don't do all this little dialogue before, because I, what I'm trying to do is calm my, calm my spirit, so the Lord may be able to speak through me, but um, each and every day, 
for 18, almost 19 years at Pleasant Green. When I walked down that aisle at the old Pleasant Green, say, look, I, I, want, I just want to work. And I do heart service, not lip service. All right, man. So what I do, I do for my heart. Yes, you know, uh, I, I understand uh, I'm not up here to, like Pastor Page, correct? I'm not, I'm not up here to do that. But the word is like a twitch sword. It cuts going and coming and going. Yeah. So it's used for correction, inspiration, direction. So that's what, you know, that's what I learned. So uh, that's what I'm up here to share with you guys. But our scripture, the third scripture today, where we come from, is first Psalms. Very familiar. And if you're entitled, stand, please stand for the reading of the word. Verse 1. Blessed man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scorn, but his delight is in the law of the Lord, and his law doth meditate day and night. And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water, that bring forth his fruit in his season. His leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. Then godly and not so, but like the chaff which the wind driveth away. Therefore, the ungodly shall not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. For the Lord knoweth the way of the righteous, but the way of the ungodly shall perish. You may be seated. Now, if I want to, if I'm going to tag a, a, a title to this message, is walking in, in the way of the Lord. This, that that be this walking by His word. The Lord is ordering your steps. So when I'm reading this scripture, when I pick this scripture, I, I, I picked out a few things in the scripture. Like, first thing, verse one: Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor sinners the way of sinners, nor sinners see the scoff. You're blessed. You're blessed when you walk in the way of the Lord. You know, when you when you fall in His steps, when He you allow Him to order your steps, you're blessed. You know and. Uh, I remember some times, some days ago, you know, years ago, walking dusty streets of uh, Saudi Arabia, Thailand, Philippines. I'm walking, and, and, and I'm not walking in the way of the Lord. I'm doing my own thing. I'm, I'm, I'm be, I just want to be transparent with you. I was doing my own thing. But the prayers of the saints was keeping me. I mean, it was turmoil. This is in the 70s and early 90s you know, early 90s and stuff. So there was dangers all around me. But I I didn't know no better. But the Lord knew better. The Lord kept me. And uh, the prayers of my mom and my dad and my my siblings, you know, they kept me. They kept me strong, you know. So like the like words if you though know that I walk through the shadow of the valley of death, I fear no evil for thou with me. The Lord was with me all the time. So we're blessed. And I, and I thank him today that he allowed me to be here on this day. Because I could have been dead sleeping in my grave. Because I was not doing what I was supposed to do. In my later years, I finally realized the Lord kept me. The Lord has been keeping me. I know he's been keeping you too because you're looking at me now. You know, so he, he kept me. So, but it was, it was in my heart. I knew something was missing. Something was missing. Once I rededicated my life back to the Lord, I'm not saying everything has been all peachy cream and you know been straight street or whatever. I've had my ups, I had my downs, but I have more ups than downs. And if I'm standing straight up looking at you today, the Lord has blessed me and kept me. You know, I, I, I'm, I'm pushing 65. I'm pushing 65. I never thought I'd make it to 25. Never thought I'd make it to 50. Amen. And the Lord has blessed me. We know, we know the culture of today. Yes. How that young black man or, or a black woman, you might not make it to the next day. Yes. You know, yes. but I thank the Lord that he has kept me. Yes. So I'm going to dedicate the rest of my time on this earth to him. 
to serving his people, to sharing his word. Verse 2. But his delight is in the law of the Lord. And he does in the Lord of the Lord. And he in his law does he meditate day and night. Each and every night. I'm just walking through the scripture, y'all. I mean, that's I'm gonna give you the word. I'm just walking through the scripture. Day and night. Day and night. I mean, this song that I, I, I attempted to sing today, it's been on my heart. I, I'm so much for some years. I remember back in Old Pleasant Green, and I think it was it might have been the voice of the praise when it first started. This song, we sang this song, Order My Steps. And there was Kalita Banks at the time and Portia Thomas. They each did a verse. Each and every word of that song spoke to my heart. I could not, I had to sing. I couldn't keep my eyes dry because I focused on the words of that song. Because that's what, and it, you know the verses. If you heard some, you know the verses. And it, it digs deep into your soul. That's why when, when uh, I passed the said I was a summer bird, I asked the Lord years ago, give me a little piece of voice. Just a little piece of voice. And I would say praises unto you. Amen. You know, and I would use it to edify you. So, I mean, that song spoke volumes for me. So I, I listen, when I hear the songs, I hear the, the praise songs, sir, the words have to cut deep into your soul. They have to speak that message. You can message this song, you know. Uh, so that's why I, I try to meditate on this word day and night, you know, because uh, it would, it helps me. It, and I pray that it will help you too. Just focus on this word. This is one I, I really like, and I, and I have the verse three. And he shall, or she shall, be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth his fruit in his season, and the leaf also shall not, shall not wither. And whatsoever do it, shall, he shall prosper. I think back in the day, and I, 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 I got to share this little story with me because with you guys, because what I do, I try to apply to what's going on in my life, what has happened in my life. And I think about this, he shall be like a tree planted by rivers of water. I'm from, I'm from the South, y'all. And, and we, were, we lived in the country and it's all before they developed. There was a creek that ran through this swamp, crystal clear water from a artesian well, crystal clear water. There was a grapefruit tree, huge tree next to this creek and that this word he brought it to my remembrance that this tree was huge y'all grapefruits were huge i mean the tree was full of fruit in the wilderness in the woods in the swamp nobody planted this tree but by being next to that river or that creek and that made me think of us and the holy spirit that springs up in us and how we will flourish, how the, our leaves will not wither. Amen. Our fruit, we'll be fruitful in sharing his word. Fruitful in leading someone else to Christ. You know, and I, and I thought about that, you know, and I, I can see this tree like it was yesterday. I don't know whether it's there now or not because a lot of development, but this tree, the roots had it, always had its power source, which is the, that water, that clean flowing water, which is you know, water, oil, is, is a uh, symbol of the Holy Spirit. Right, right, right. So, uh, and I think about that, I said, Lord, I want to be, I want my roots to be attached to that river, yes. your Holy Spirit, yes. so I can flourish, so I can grow, yeah. so I can lead someone to your son. Right. You know, I, and, you know I, I, I thank the Lord that he's put me in a position where I, I can deal with young people. I, not just young people, I, I think I reach across the board because he's put a spirit of love in my heart, spirit of service in my heart. Like I, I, I tell a lot of people, I don't do lip service, I do heart service. I have to, I have to, because I'm gonna be held accountable. I'm gonna be held accountable. If I don't tell you the truth, if I don't share the correct word with you, I'm gonna be held accountable. So, love y'all. 
And I, I want to I wanted just share with you with the Lord. Like there's a, there's a the mother walking favorite scripture. Trust in the Lord all thine heart, lean not unto thy own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he will, he shall direct your path. You know, that's what I, you know, I have to trust him. I, mean, I can trace this, uh, trace his name, but I have to trust the Lord's heart. You know, so I, I, I'm just sharing with you today what the, God, what the Lord has given me. I know I hadn't looked at my papers all. There is just a bit up here, but I, I'm not a, I'm not a, I don't go by a script. I have to give it what the Lord gave me in my heart. Okay? So, uh, but I'm, I'm going to go verse 4. Like I said, they're got ungodly and not so. They're like the chap that the wind drives away. You guys know what trap chap is. That's a, like a, now this time of year is the harvest time. And, and they're, they're harvesting corn and harvesting beans. You know, and uh, all the beans and the corn go into a hopper, whatever the case may be. But you see the stuff flying around. That's a chaff. Mm -hmm. We're not the chaff. Right. We're the harvest. Right. You know, we're, the right. Right. we're not the chaff. But yeah. that, that man or that woman or that boy or that girl that don't know the Lord Jesus Christ, that's a chaff. Mm -hmm. But it's up to us yes. to make sure they're part of the harvest. Mm -hmm. You know. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I, I like that. And yeah, I have to relate yes. every day to the word. And that's, you know, sometimes, sometimes it, it, we get lost in the theology of it, though. You know, we get lost because the young people can't quite understand. But if you could relate the carnal to the spiritual, then they can, you know, they can relate to it. They can grow. And they say, oh, okay, I see it now. Because I remember a few sermons ago, like in the, in the in Sidorite Revival, one preacher said, when, uh, when uh, Peter asked Christ can, to come, can I come out of the boat? He steps out of the boat. But once he took his eye, he's walking on the water in the storm and everything. Once he took his eyes off of Christ, he began to sink. And uh, that's what we got to keep our eyes on, on the cross, on Christ, so we stay afloat. Then there was a Reverend Smith spoke and I mean, I'm just I'm saying he said get back in the boat in other words get back to work yes, and he told us yes, so when the Christ helped me to come I'm coming when it's time to, when he said get back in the boat I'm getting back in the boat so I can work so you know I, I listen all these sermons going through my head and uh, I'm a fisherman so I know about how you and he mentioned about pushing out in the deep and fishing in the deep. I'm a fisherman. So I related that to my life. So I push out into the depth of society. When I was working out on the base, I am in the midst of a stormy sea of non-believers. I'm telling you right now, non-believers. But when it was time, these non-believers, they got a sick loved one. Well, Bobby, can you pray for me? I said, I can. But I can tell you, man, I can introduce you to a man that you can pray for yourself. But I'll pray for you. You know, so, you know, the Lord has placed me in some situations where I had to share the word. Might not want to, just like Jonah didn't want to go to Nineveh. But I was placed in those positions. Well, I had to share the word. I mean, I had some people that didn't like me. And I knew it. But what's in my heart is not hate. Once again, Mr. Sewell, you can't fight evil with evil. You know, so I want to thank all these brothers that all these servants, I'm listening. And I use them in my day-to-day -day life. But now since I'm retired, I have to get with our young people. Our young people, are, they, there's so many, like, like the word said, the world is ever changing, but you're always, you're still the same. Yes, yes there's different approaches to sharing the word, but you've got to make sure the word is solid, solid.
You know, you can't deviate from the word. Like I said, not, you don't take anything away from it. You don't get put anything to it. Just, just share the word at all times. But I, I have a few nuggets that I want to share with you guys. Now I'll go to this paper. <laughs> you know, I, like I say, if you can't laugh, if you can't smile, if you can't joke in love, then says something wrong with this, that belief, with that religion. And me, I, I, I believe in, I believe in laughter. I believe in joking. And I definitely believe in love. Because uh, the love of Christ, which saved us all. But I have a few nuggets for you guys. And the scripture's going to come pretty good. If you want to write them down, you can, but there's one. You say it's, it's impossible. You've probably heard it before. Some of you. God says all things are possible. Luke 18 to 27. You say, I'm tired. God says, I'm going to give you rest. Matthew 11, 28 30-30. You say, nobody really loves me. God says, I love you. John 3, 16. John 13, 34. You say, I can't go on. God says, my grace is sufficient. Amen. 2 Corinthians 12 and 9, Psalms 1 and 15. You say, I can't figure things out. God says, I will direct your steps. Amen. Proverbs 3, 5 through 6. You say, I can't do it. God says, you can do all things. Philippians, Philippians 4 and 13. You say, I'm not able. God says, I'm able. 2 Corinthians 9 and 8. You say, I can't forgive myself. God says, I forgive you. Yes. First John 1 and 9, Romans 8 and 1. Yes. You say, I can't manage. God says, I will supply all your needs. Philippians 4 and 19. You say, I'm afraid. God says, I have not given your, you a spirit of fear. Second right. Timothy 1 is 7. You say, I'm always worried and frustrated. God says, cast all your cares on me. First Peter 5 and 7. You say, I don't have enough faith. Mm. Come on. I've given everyone a measure of faith. Romans 12 and 3. Yes. You say, I'm not smart enough. Mm -hmm. God says, I give you wisdom. Mm -hmm. 1 Corinthians 1 and 30. Yes. You say, I feel all alone. God says, I would never leave you or forsake you. Hebrews 13 and 5. Those are the nuggets I need to share with you guys. But one thing I will share with you. Christ is all, all in all. And if it wasn't for his shedding his blood on Calvary's cross, I wouldn't be here today. I want to thank you being here this morning and I pray that something was said on this morning 
just a little nugget that would bless you or share with someone that would bless them. God bless you. God keep you. Is my prayer. Amen.